First, we kick off today's show by taking you to Vancouver, where an iconic building is getting a serious nip and tuck. Here's Mark Miller with the story. All right. They look like hardcore mountain climbers gearing up for their next ascent. Calm winds and overcast skies. But today, these elite technicians aren't assaulting a rocky summit. They're scaling slippery, nearly vertical slopes and dangling nine stories above the earth. It's always a dangerous job up here. To conquer one of Canada's most recognizable architectural landmarks. With its five massive white sails, Canada Place has welcomed the world to Vancouver for the last three decades. When it was designed and built in 1985, it was the largest uh, pensioned roof system of its kind in the world. The roof is actually made of 27 fabric panels bonded together. With some nearly as long as a football field, the Teflon-coated sheets are stretched across steel cables and connected by 40-foot masts. These masts effectively support the entire fabric roof structure. When it was built, engineers knew the roof would one day have to be replaced. Uh, this is the old fabric right here. Today, that day's arrived. Obviously, by the color variation, you can see we have old fabric here. Um, it's 30 years old, it's quite dirty. But the great sail swap won't be so easy. We needed to formulate a way to replace the sails without opening up entire components of the roof at the same time. If there are big holes in the sails, high winds could literally blow away the structure. So the construction team has had to find a way to replace the roof while keeping it closed at all times. We used alternate methodology and pulled panels off. Uh, there would be a good chance that entire sails could come off. The solution? A clever closed roof system. Like building a giant tent within a tent, the new roof will be erected under the old roof. Essentially the new tent goes up from the inside, old tent gets peeled off from the outside. Each sail can only be replaced one section at a time. And there's no room for big cranes on the site. So there's only one way to rig up the new sails. By using rope access technicians. Really, they go where no one can go. Part construction worker, part climber. These guys work in the places that would give most of us vertigo. Yeah, Roger that, that's our first priority of the day. Today, Michael Blancher will help hoist a new panel that weighs as much as an SUV. We have the center pinned at this stage, and we're just trying to work the bit, what we call waves of fabric towards the east and the west so we can pin the top corners. To move up and down the sails and to grip the rope, Michael uses a typical ascender-descender device to help stick to the slick 70-degree slope. Be careful. Mike wears non-marking rubber soles and leans back to force all the gravity through his feet. It's safer than walking because you can't trip. Once up on top, rope access workers hook into a safety cable strung between the masts. It's been engineered for 20 workers along the ridge. Like little marionettes in a giant puppet show, the rope techs work up and down the roof's ridges and valleys. Using winches and cables, the sails are raised and stretched, inch by inch, until they reach their final position under the old roof. It's a hands-on, labor-driven approach. It takes thousands of pounds of force to make the sails taut, and while the fabric is a strong fiberglass weave, anything can happen. There's always a danger we can rip it. When we're pulling it tight, um, there's certainly a danger. While the rope techs work outside, inside, another team maneuvers the new roof into position from below. They're uh, pulling taut the new fabric sail from the underside and permanently connecting it to the new permanent hardware on that cable system. Once a new sail is fully installed, the old fabric is sliced up into dozens of smaller pieces. We're basically peeling the skin off of the old, uh, old sails. And the new roof is exposed to the outside world. I'm going to actually start this scene. There's no room for error. You want to make sure you do as minimal damage to the new panel as possible. <laughs> to prevent the new sail from being accidentally sliced open, seatbelt cutters are used to strip away the outer layer. This was the best option that we had. Each piece of scrap weighs hundreds of pounds, so they must be gently lowered to the ground. 
snow rolls downhill, so I mean it's easy, you know, everything's pitched right to come to right to the promenade deck and easy access for easy removal. From inside, it's easy to see the new roof taking shape. As we peel the old sail off from the outside, you'll get a, a much more lighter appearance. More more light will make it through. Within six months, the new oatmeal colored fabric will be sun bleached into a brilliant white. Thanks to some fearless high flying technicians. It's been a fantastic experience. An innovation that stretches the limits of engineering. Canada Place should be ready to set sail for another 30 years.